Hey guys, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about actions. Actions are a particular kind of dog, okay? But they're given a special name, so we're going to take a look at a brief lesson on them. <coughs> so, the Crank of Vision Studios make a video here using system, and now we're going to say namespace, sample will do. And now, class program like this. You're going to make one method. So, you're going to say private static. void and then show cube and dynamic i and you're going to say here console a right line and then the cube of i that is what will go in a placeholder is and I'm going to put a one here okay period and I'll put i comma and then math around and i times i times i comma two for the number of decimal places. So now that we have this, we're going to make use of this action so within last program. Let's make a static void main method like that. And now we're going to use this new syntax. So type action. And it says encapsulates a method that has no parameters and does not return a value. Or if you do this one here, it says accept. <clears throat> so, you have to do this one of these. And it says the first one encapsulates a method that has a single parameter and does not return a value. So that is what we will have a single parameter. So dynamic, dynamically typed parameter. Now you're going to say here qubit. And this will be equal to a new action dynamically typed and then show cube as the function that it encapsulates. There you go. There you go. So an action is just a delegate, a particular kind of delegate for our purposes, as you can see. Okay? So it encapsulates a method that has a single parameter and does not return the value. Delegate. See that? Alright, so to make use of it, we're going to do the following. Let me delete this code down below. Now you're going to say dynamic x equals and then double dot parse and console dot read line, close out with a semicolon, and now you will say qubit and x, like that, okay? So this will operate on doubles, but because this, this action is dynamic, you can say x equals decimal dot parse and console dot read line, close out with a semicolon, and now you can say Qubit x and I will operate equally well on decimals. Okay, let's do console dot right line and press any key to exit. Close out the semicolon and now say at the end here console dot read key. Close that with the semicolon. There you go. So that is our simple code. Let me separate this out. There you go. So give it a build. Remember, an action is just a kind of delegate, specific kind, but it's used, so you should be aware of it. And now, if you go through this debug and step into it, the execution is very simple. First, as you can see, qubit and x are both nodes. These are reference types. And then you're going to do the action here. Now, if you expand qubit, as you can see, it says method equals an void show cube system object. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> so put some value. Hit enter. The value is read into x, of course. Now qubit is called, as you can see. And that actually then calls the show cube. And then we read another value in decimal form. So now qubit will be called again. But remember that encapsulates a call to show cube through the action. There you go. Press any key to exit. Load from memory. Okay, there you go. So, if you want, um, <clears throat> if you just go with start this way, press any key to exit, and it exits the application. There you go. So, you just learned about actions. But, as you can see, it's a specific kind of a delegate. You see that? So a single parameter and does not return a value. And that is it. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in another video.